coming up on the 26th of October. Second and seven for Kentucky. Kelly Jack Haskins. Hit and drop for a loss. Back at the 15-yard line. That was Rondell Marsh, 95. A reserve tackle. And Terry Rice Lockett, the linebacker who came crashing through. Terry Rice Lockett, this is his first chance to get a chance to start a ball game. He's been there for a while. Watch the pressure up the middle. He's a big, strong guy. And Haskins felt every pound of him. 6'2", 245 pounds. Rice Lockett, a junior out of St. Louis. He was a outstanding special teams player in the past. With Alan Campos and Johnny Frost gone, he's going to get his chance now. Pass incomplete. Dropped near the 30-yard line. Trying to get it to Keogh Sanford in and out of his hands. And now Kentucky will turn the ball over. All of a sudden. They, all, they have yet to convert on third down, Kentucky. They are 0 for 3. And all of a sudden, Dave, it appears that maybe Louisville's defense has really settled down just a little bit. They stopped Kentucky. And now the Wildcats fourth down and 12. We see Rico Clark go deep. And the punter, Jimmy Carter, sophomore, Dunwoody, Georgia. He had every punt for the Wildcats last season. This one's blocked. Louisville's blocked the punt, and they've got it inside the Kentucky 10-yard line. The kicking game is really a big factor in the early going of this football game. The punt return of 65 yards from Keogh Sanford. And now the block punt by Louisville on Kentucky's Jimmy Carter, giving the Cardinals their best field position of the night. We'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium after we take this timeout. Stay with us. Here's a clever summer cool down. Plymouth Clearance Chillers, where the 96s make way for new 97s. Now get zero down and no payments for 90 days on Plymouth Voyagers. Or cool off with cash back and a great clearance price on Plymouth Breeze. Or splash in low 1.9% financing or $1,000 back on Plymouth Neon. Chill out with Clearance Chillers. Another clever idea from Plymouth. Don't miss clearance savings. Now at your local Plymouth dealer. Crafted in the finest gold and crystal, representing pride and honor, Kroger is proud to present the Governor's Cup for the annual U of L UK football game. The tradition continues. <laughs> Hamilton Printing is quality. Hamilton Printing is state-of-the-art. Hamilton Printing is service. Hamilton Printing is excellence. Quality, state-of-the-art, service, excellence. Louisville's award-winning Hamilton Printing. With all there is to do these days, who has the time to plan for retirement? Besides, there will always be Social Security. But will that alone be enough? Don't count on it. But you can count on Hilliard Lions to help you plan for a worry-free retirement and offer ways to accumulate the money you'll need to enjoy it. Call us or stop by and let's talk about your retirement plans. Hilliard Lions. Our best investment is you. This is a banner being flown over Commonwealth Stadium tonight by Sonny Bass to his wife, Gladys Bass. This is her birthday. And he brought her to the football game here tonight and was going to surprise her with this banner being flown around the stadium. So Sonny Bass wishing Gladys a happy birthday. Well, Kentucky leads Louisville. Seven to nothing, but the Cats just had this punt block, Lewis Bridge. So far, it's been special teams. Watch Esther's right here. He's going to come from the outside. Not very much of a block. He's going to cross. Watch Jimmy Carter, number 18. He's looking down to make the kick, and the ball is going to be blocked. Watch him just lay out and bang right there, right off his side. The ball with Kareem ricocheted to the left-hand side of the football field, and so far, it has been a game of special teams. It has been a 65-yard punt return. 
for Kentucky Sanford and now Tony Esters blocks a punt and the Kentucky Wildcats find the Louisville Cardinals sitting on the Kentucky nine yard line. This will be the first play of the second quarter. We have changed ends of the field. It is Jason Payne, the quarterback. The senior, the pitch to Moreau. Moreau turns the corner near the five and he's brought down. Short game by Moreau, hit by Tony Woods, 29. The Ford first quarter stats show you Kentucky only two rushing yards and Lewis, you might look at the difference in the time of possession as well. Well, you don't see very much here. Uh, you don't see anything really on Kentucky's side, but except one thing. They're leading the ball game. Look at, look at this figure here. 37 yards. Look at this, two. And time of possession, not very much. But the big thing is they've got six points. And so far, from a touchdown, Louisville nothing. Louisville trying to square this game up. The ball is at the five, and we've got an injured uh, player down on the field with a knee problem. That is Frank Moreau, I'm told, the running back, the sophomore out of E-Town. And he's look, they're looking at the right knee. Let's see if we can pick up what happened. Watch Moreau here. He's running to the outside. Pretty good running play. Gets started pretty good. We'll see what happens here. Moreau is a guy watching here. He uses his hands very well, not so much on this play. But it looks like it just when guys see the football, they're going to come after you. Saw a lot of blue jerseys. Looks like someone just fell on his leg. Well, we'll see uh, and later get a report, hopefully, on the condition of Moreau, who's rushed the ball seven times for 15 yards, averaging just over two yards a carry. The big uh, thrust of the Louisville running game is out. That means that uh, Otis Floyd, 17, will be in the ball game. Second down and goal. They give it to Floyd inside the five to the four. Hit by Lamont Smith. Lamont Smith is the junior for Kentucky on the inside. He's a guy that they really expect to have a lot from. He came from the outside on that particular play. Otis Floyd, not very much running room. It's now third down and goal from the four. And Kentucky leads Louisville seven to nothing early on in the second quarter. Payne looks, throws, got his man. It's going to be about the six, uh, inside the five at about the three. Ivan Green, number six, makes the grab for the Cardinals. Hit by Schellenberger, the middle linebacker. It is now fourth down. It'll bring the place-kicking team on. Louisville's going to have to settle for a field goal. And a lot of credit here to the Kentucky defense after a blocked punt. Louisville had the ball at the Kentucky nine-yard line. It'll bring on David Akers. He kicked two field goals last year against Kentucky. He is a native of Lexington, went to Tate's Creek High School, was passed over by the Wildcats and came to Louisville. Here's his kick from 20 yards away, and it's good. So David Akers, who missed two field goals in the first meeting two years ago, hits this one, and it's a 7-3 game. Kentucky leading Louisville. 12.53 left in the first half. Is he dead? Nope, he's just plain dead. Watch. Can do. Chevrolet, the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. He's let the cat out of the bag. But they won't last long during your Chevy dealer's model year closeout. I'm going to call up my home economics teacher right now. Ask her about Chevy Blazer LT. It costs thousands less than Ford Explorer and Jeep Grand Cherokee. So that's it. Nope, there's more. Blazer now comes with 1,250 cash back. I'll be the happiest guy in the world. Dependable trucks at rock bottom prices. It's the model year closeout at your Kentucky and a Chevrolet Geo dealer. Papa John's way. Their way. Our secret ingredient. And theirs. You see, most pizza delivery chains use dehydrated paste to make their sauce. 
Papa John's uses sauce made from vine-ripened tomatoes the day they're picked, then sent on to our stores. We believe better ingredients make a better pizza. That's why there's everyone else's pizza and Papa John's. Pick five for a real winner. Get a large Papa's Choice pizza with up to five toppings for ten ninety nine. Well, the rivalry continues tonight at Commonwealth Stadium, Louisville and Kentucky. With 12.53 in the half, Kentucky 7 and Louisville 3. The Wildcats scored first. Set up on a 65-yard punt returned by Keogh Sanford. McLaurin scored the touchdown. Louisville blocked a Kentucky punt. Got the ball at the UK 9-yard line, but had to settle for this field goal. Could not get the touchdown. David Akers from 20 yards away. And I tell you what, that was a great job by Akers because that was a bad snap. It was low, but Jason Payne got the ball down very quickly where he could make the field goal. So Louisville has uh, scored now, and they trail 7-3 to three and will kick to the Wildcats. We want to update you when we can on the condition of Frank Moreau, the running back for Louisville. He had his knee injured on that drive that ended with the Akers field goal. The kick deep to the end zone. Sanford, will he come out with it? Shouldn't, and he doesn't. Keo Sanford will down it. Kentucky will bring it out to the 20. Moreau sits on the Louisville bench. There is uh, some word from the Louisville bench that he may be finished for this game and not, not coming back. And that certainly is not good news, of course, for the Louisville running game. They count very heavily on this big 6'2", 230-pound running back, and it's his right knee uh, that evidently is hurt. And that is a big blow to him. I mean, he really gives him something for that uh, potent offense, but it's going to have to be oldest Floyd right now. He's going to have to carry the load for him. It is Billy Jack Haskins who's gone all the way a quarterback in this game so far for Kentucky. Number seven runs the option, flips it to McLaurin. He gets around the end and picks up a few yards. The knocked out of bounds up over the 23-yard line. Sam Madison, number 13, the senior defensive back for U of L, out of Monticello, Florida. Playboy All-American. If you play the option well, you can make some big plays. The quarterback has to make some big decision. Haskins, he has to make the great pitch. He's got people coming at him. The running back, he has to catch the football. He's got people coming at him. You see a lot of turnovers, but you have a good option team. It's very hard to defense. Second down and six, the pickup by McLaurin of four. Haskins over the middle. It's tipped incomplete. The ball was tipped on its way by Tyrus McLeod, number 52, the linebacker, had been intended for Sanford. Okay, watch this, Haskins, number seven. Pretty good pressure here, and look, he gets hits a little bit, and he's going to grab his hand here. He hurt his hand on that play. That ball, that was a great play by McLeod down field. Field. That's why he's an All-American, and that's why he can. Uh, he will probably be a number one draft pick this year. Looked like Haskins' hand glanced off the side of one of the linemen as he went forward with a throwing mark. Uh, motion. Rondell Marsh was making the charge for Louisville, number 95. Third, seven to go. Haskins looks and calls a timeout. With 12.06 on the clock, second quarter, Kentucky seven and Louisville three. Haskins calls a timeout. We'll take one as well and be back to Commonwealth Stadium after this break. Finding oneself alone in this world can be terrifying. Poor thing, you must have fallen out. I knew I must return him to his family to ensure he's consumed at optimum freshness. I don't see him, do you? Excuse me, he's lost. Lost beer coming through. See him? We'll find him any minute. I can feel it. Excuse me. Don't give up. Hey, who's missing a bottle? I got a lost bottle here. Budweiser. Brew refresh taste. Strictly enforced. Don't worry, little fella. We'll fight. Got no shirt. Got no shoes, got no coat, so got me the blues, yeah, I got no shade. Hey, that's cause you got no Pepsi. Hmm. Now the more Pepsi you drink, the more stuff you get from the new Pepsi catalog. Got no mansion, got no yacht. This might be the end of the blues as we know it. <laughs> drink a lot of Pepsi, get a lot of stuff. Kentucky and Louisville from Commonwealth Stadium tonight. 7-3, to Kentucky, 12.06 left to go. 
PNC Bank, Fox 41, and Cardinal Athletics are proud to present Cardinal Standing Tall, a unique program of Cardinal student-athletes serving as role models for our youth. Each letter in the world, Cardinals, represents guidelines for success in life. The PNC Bank Cardinal Standing Tall features seen on Fox 41, UofL Sports Telecast, part of the outreach program to the community. Kentucky store scored first in the first quarter at 9.25. McLaurin on a six-yard run. And then Tony Esters blocked a Kentucky punt. The Cardinals got a field goal from Akers, and it's 7-3. to three. Right now, third down and seven. Little putting a lot of men on the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're going to come with a blitz. Now they drop back. Haskins under pressure, and down he goes. He's sacked inside the 20. That is the second sack of the night on Haskins. Rondell Marsh, number 95, a backup tackle. Rondell Marsh has figured in a couple of big plays. Rondell Rondell Marsh before. He's the one on the, on the last series who hurt his hand. Watch this. Not a lot of time. This is blitz coverage. If you cover the guys tightly, the defensive line have enough time to get the pressure on the quarterback. The University of Kentucky in this game is 0 for 5 on first downs. They do not have a first down, but they lead 7 to 3. Rico Clark deep. High snap. Carter gets it out of there. The last one, of course, was blocked. Kentucky will watch this roll inside of the level 48 and drop there. So the Cardinals defense is going to give the Cardinal offense a good field position again. Can the Louisville offense capitalize on this field position? Ivan Green, number six. And Jeff Snedeker going after it. Kind of pushing back and forth. Rod Cooper on the sideline. His team looking to score its first touchdown of this football game. Al our Keel brothers, BP halftime report will be coming up later on. We'll look over the stats and highlights of this first half of football between the Cardinals and the Wildcats. Inside 10 minutes left to go in the first half. Third down and seven. Payne's going to go back and throw the screen off to the side, and there's nothing there for Donnell Gordon, the former Kentucky Wildcat, hit and dropped by Lamont Smith. Great defensive play by Smith. That play did not fool Kentucky. They were ready for it. The same kind of a play on the outside. UK, they will play a lot of zone. They play a lot of zone so far in this ball game. Watch again. Jason Payne to the outside. Ball thrown just a little bit behind him before he can get his feet on the ground. He's going to be hit. Watch this again. Ball thrown to the outside. Payne is going to take a hit just as he releases the football. Jeremy Borseth now to punt. He's had now three excellent punts. Keo Sanford lets this one hit. It can be down inside the five. Little let it go down inside the end zone. Courtney Dinkins was down there in position where he could have downed the ball inside the five. It goes for the touchback, so Kentucky gets it at the 20. Morseth laid the football right down there in a good spot. One of the most difficult things to do is to down the football inside the five-yard line. Coaches would tell you, once you let the ball drop as a receiving team, it will bounce on average about 18 yards. And so, and that's, that was about the average on that one. Very tough to get an oval football in over fi open field. From the 20, Wildcats first down, 854, first quarter at Commonwealth Stadium. Kentucky 7-3. to three. Haskins, he's under pressure. Going to throw the ball, and it's got the corner. He's not going to have a first down, but he's out over the 25 to the 27-yard line. Raymond McCoy out of Radford of Kentucky, making the second start of his career, makes the catch, and now Kentucky will have, or rather, Kentucky will have second and about two, a gain of eight. We talked earlier about the lack of experience on the offense and also on the defense. But if you've got a quarterback who's a veteran quarterback and can make some plays, running the football, passing the football, some good things can happen for you. Kentucky's Billy Jack Haskins now, second down and two call from the Kentucky 28. Haskins to the air. It's almost intercepted. 
That was Tony Bethel, number 46, ready to pick it off. It was intended for Yeast. Haskins gets up looking at that right hand. And Bethel is one of those dynamic duos as far as the corners are concerned. A guy who played well last year, started 22 consecutive games. Watched his pass almost too late. You kind of wonder a little bit just about Haskins' hands. He gets hit again, and he's going to fall on that hand once more. I think when he got up, he was rubbing that hand again, so it'll be interesting to see how well he delivers the football. That was Leland Taylor that delivered the hit on Haskins. Third down and two. From the Wildcat 28, McLaurin into the line. He's not going to have it. He needed to get the 30-yard line. Now, are they going to spot it there? If they do, he's got it. If not, it's going to be short. Well, on the phone to the press box, Jason Payne, the Louisville quarterback. And they gave him the first down, so he did make it to the 30. And I'm pretty sure Jason is saying, what now, coach? We tried some things. They tried to open it up a little bit in the first first part of the ball game passing. Now they've been running the football. That is Kentucky's, believe it or not, first first down of this football game, and they are leading 7-3. to three. So the Louisville defense has certainly done its job. 7-3, to three, Kentucky leads. 7-29 on the clock at Commonwealth Stadium. McLaurin, boy, he's just getting call after call, but they don't have any room for him there. Tyrus McLeod. On the stop, McLeod, 52. This is our Bluegrass Automotive Game Summary. And boy, special teams have certainly been a major factor in this. The Louisville defense and, of course, now the injury to Frank Moreau. Frank Moreau is definitely going to hurt, but what can you say about the uh, UofL's defense? We expected that, though. Tough defensively, veterans on the, offensive, on the defensive line, veteran linebackers, and the secondaries, very tough. Only eight yards rushing for Kentucky as we look at our Bluegrass Automotive Game Summary and 17 passing, 25 yards altogether. Haskins, down he goes, and that's McLeod. Tyrus McLeod, the senior out of Pompano Beach, levels Billy Jack Haskins. There was pressure from Rice Lockett coming out of the pocket. Haskins was tagged there by McLeod. If you have good pass rushes, you don't have to send everyone. UofL, they play a very good eight-man front most of the time. Watch McLeod here, the All-American. Watch him. Watch him get down. I saw him practicing the other day. This drill is a one-on-one -on -one drill where they want the offensive guy to make moves, the defensive guys. Make sure you get your feet under you and make a tackle. He did that to perfection. Third down and 12. The Wildcats after the loss on the sack. Just about six minutes in the first half. Haskins this time with time. Incomplete. The pass dropped right around the knees. It was not a well no, the thrown ball. Matt Conway making the pressure in there, and the pass was dropped. Cardinal fans here. There are a few thousand of them in Commonwealth Stadium. That's what pressure can do. Pressure from the outside, pressure from the inside. All of a sudden, it looks like that hand is really bothering because he did short arm the football that time. He's taken some hits. His arm has been hit. Jimmy Carter, three punts, just over 32 yards average. Of course, one of them blocked by Tony Esters. He gave Louisville the ball at the nine. Good snap. He's blocked it again. Picked up. Run in. That's Dinkins, number 19, for a Louisville touchdown. And we just looked at that game summary and talked about special teams. And again, it is special teams. That is Tony Dinkins, number 19, Courtney Dinkins, a freshman out of Detroit, Michigan. Tony Esters was in there as well to make the block. It's Dinkins who picks it up for the touchdown. And now Louisville's got its first lead in the ballgame. Watch this. So far, Louisville's special teams has been everything. They've been very special. Jimmy Carter, he has to feel like he's a running back now. He's taking more hits than the running backs. This is an easy touchdown here. Dinkins running number 19. Kind of reminds you of old number 19, John Unitas. Here is number 39, David Akers for the point after. Louisville up now. It's good by a 10-7 score. So after trailing throughout the first part of this football game, Louisville has blocked two Kentucky punts and turned one of them into a touchdown. 10 to 7, U of L, 548 in the half. Thank you. 
National City is going the distance for you with over 100 locations throughout Kentuckyana. From Salem to Smith's Grove, from Crestwood to Corbin to Catlettsburg. So no matter where you live in this area, National City has a complete lineup of services for easy and convenient banking, including checking, loans, and certificates of deposit. Conveniences that always make you feel right at home. So if you want banking that goes the distance for you, team up with National City. You will be satisfied at Bluegrass Lincoln Mercury. We've got the interest rate, we've got the rebate, and when you see the price, you will be satisfied. Bluegrass promises you the absolute best value, highest quality service, integrity in every transaction, and 100% satisfaction. You will be satisfied. With our late service hours, Saturday service, and special shuttle service, it's like having your own personal limo. Buy your next car at Bluegrass Lincoln Mercury, and you will be satisfied. Let's look at our National City going the distance replay. It's Jimmy Carter back to punt for Kentucky. Esters will block it, and Louisville will score. Jimmy Carter has to be saying, what in the heck is going on? Can anyone block Esters? Esters blocked one early in the ball game. He blocks this one. Special teams, the third part of the offense, third part of the defense. If you can't play it well, these things can happen. And so far, University of Louisville has taken advantage of it. It has produced all 10 Louisville points. The first block resulted in a field goal. This one in a touchdown. They lead now. With 5.48 and a half, the little squib kick picked up at Kentucky. Well, Sanford will bring it up uh, into the 40 vicinity of the 40-yard line. Keo Sanford gives Kentucky good field position. Ivan Green in there on the stop on special teams along with Tony Bethel. All right, let's check our Pepsi preview. Cardinal Volleyball, the Louisville Invitational, coming up September 13th and the 14th. Illinois, one of the teams there, coached by the former UofL Volleyball coach, Don Hart. And by the way, last night, the UofL Volleyball team opened up their season upsetting number six-ranked UCLA in four games. They'll pay, face Powerhouse Hawaii next up. Here's a handoff, and McQuarrin is stacked up at the 35-yard line. Boy, you can really feel the Louisville defense has control of that offensive line. And it looks like McLeod was the first guy to get to him. The numbers on, on McLeod last year, he had at least 10 tackles in every ball game but three, which means that he really knows how to read the offense. He knows where he's going. One thing about tackling, you have to love it, and he really loves it. Watch this. Meet Mr. McLeod. Also, Rico Clark, one of the smallest guys out there. This is what you like to see. You like to see a lot of helmets on defense around the football. And now, second and 11, a loss of one. Haskins to Sanford. He's a little speedy guy that gets out over the 45 and will be up near a first down. McLeod was there to be part of the stop. Needed to get to the 47 for the first down. Maybe just a little bit short of that. Watch McLeod here. I tell you what, he really gets into the football. Sometimes the officials can get just a little bit in the way, too. But I like Sanford. He really gets the ball upfield. We've seen him on special teams, break things open. Outstanding player. Third down and inches for Kentucky at the 45. 421 on the clock at Commonwealth Stadium. Little 10, Kentucky 7. McLaurin coughed it up to Rico Clark. And this could be bye-bye touchdown Louisville. One man to beat is Haskins touchdown. And just like that, Louisville has put another touchdown on the board. But there is a flag down. McLaurin is down and hurt. Is there a flag? No flag on the play. McLaurin is nursing his shoulder. Rico Clark picked that fumble up went 48 yards for the touchdown. And McLaurin is hurt on the play. This could be a double dose of bad news for Kentucky. Watch the hit here. He actually fumbles the football before he gets hit. Watch Clark always up at the line of scrimmage. I mean, no one is gonna, gonna really have a chance. Watch the quarterback Haskins. And if you're a defensive back, no, no, not a, not a quarterback. We don't make tackles. 
Here is David Akers ready to go, and we can tell you that number two, Tim Couch, is beginning to throw the ball on the sideline. Whether that means anything or not for him coming into the game, we don't know. Akers, point after is up. It is good. And Louisville, after trailing seven to nothing, scores 10 or 17 straight unanswered points to lead Kentucky 17 to seven. Let's check this National City going the distance replay. Let's look at the fumble and the touchdown again. He never really has control of the football. Watch this, never really gets control. He's hit by Lockett, hit very hard. Clark, a guy who's always around the football. Four interceptions last year, just watch this. Pretty good run, pretty good play. And watch Sam Madison, seven interceptions, but Madison can block a little bit too. Guys always love to hit on quarterbacks. Number one, Rico Clark, senior Decatur. 5'10", 180. Had 84 tackles at 95. Now he can add a touchdown to give the U of L fans a lot to cheer about. A 10-point lead in the first half over Kentucky. 4:01 to go. First half. As we look at the Alliant Health scoreboard, 17 unanswered points by Louisville. At 9:25 of the first quarter, Kentucky scored to go up seven to nothing. for room and busting out over the 30 to the 33 yard line is Craig East the speedy little sophomore out of Harrodsburg he's only 5'9 175 pounds we take a look now at the Louisville Sports Report. Join thousands of Cardinal fans subscribed to the Louisville Sports Report, your expert source for Cardinal sports. It's the nation's only weekly magazine devoted exclusively to in-depth coverage of UofL sports. Call now at the number on your screen and get 32 issues for only $39.95. The nation's most complete coverage of the cards, Louisville Sports Report. Billy Jack Haskins remains at quarterback. Haskins under pressure from Leland Taylor. Scrambles, scrambles, down he goes. Raymond Bryan, number 57, made the stop. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the half. We talked about UK's offensive line, four sophomores and one senior. So far, they haven't been able to handle the pressure up front. Watch Lockett. There is Taylor, there is Lockett. Watch this by, by Bryant, just, just down to the, to the ground. He has taken a beating, taken a lot of punishment so far this ball game. A few boos at Commonwealth Stadium. The fans want Tim Couch, but Haskins remains on the field. Handoff, short gain, Anthony White, with McLaurin being hurt on that fumble. This is a redshirt freshman out of Twinsburg, Ohio, 6'1", 195 pound, back up to McLaurin, Anthony White. McLeod on the tackle for Louisville, 2.59 as the clock stops. Louisville takes a timeout. Bill Curry on the sidelines has watched his team give up 17 unanswered points. And I really like the last call by Kentucky. We're getting a lot of pressure now up the field, up the middle, on the outsides from uh, the uh, Louisville's defensive line. So what do they do? They run the draw. To try and draw them upfield, but uh, their defense is playing so well, and it's unusual the first ball game. I really expected that the defenses would dominate the ball game. Louisville's defense has certainly been great as we look at the Pepsi preview and looking ahead to some Cardinal basketball. A trip to the Big Island to Hilo for the Big Island basketball tournament and then the John Wooden Classic in Los Angeles. For information on the travel package, call the numbers on your screen. And that's a look at the Pepsi preview. Looking ahead to Cardinal basketball trips to Hawaii and Los Angeles. Ron Cooper, trimmed down version. He's lost about 25 pounds since last spring. Says he's jogging about three miles every day and working out. Had a little bit of a problem, a little dizzy spell a couple of weeks ago and went to the hospital, had himself checked out, told us last week he feels great. He got some rest. He's eating right now and it feels like he's he's just fine. And he's a very intense competitor. I had a chance to talk with him just a little bit early in the week. Very excited about the ball game. The players are very excited. Uh, he's a very enthused kind of an individual. He really gets the players up. The one thing he will do at practice, he will let you know when you make a mistake. 
But as soon as you do something well, he will be the first guy to run up to you a yard away and pat you on the back and says, good job. Third down, 13 Kentucky, 2.59 to go. Billy Jack Haskins still at quarterback. Third down conversions, neither team has had much success. One out of seven. Well, Kentucky now trailing by 10. Big third down, a late in the half. Pass complete. White's got it. He's got a first down over the 45-yard line. Anthony White, the red shirt freshman playing for the injured McLaurin, takes the pass from Billy Jack Haskins. You know, last year Haskins completed 60% of his passes, which set a single season school record. First down, Wildcats. First down, Haskin is taking a beat, but he's a guy who's really not going to quit on anything. Still, I think his hand is bothering him a little bit because on that last pass, it still seemed he's short-arming the football. Second first down of the game for Billy Jack Haskins in the Wildcat offense. With 2.50 to go from the Kentucky 46. Haskins throws long and deep. He's got a man out there, and he overthrew it. That was Yeast, number three, Craig Yeast, the sophomore out of Harrodsburg. He's got some great speed, and Madison was on coverage, number 13. And Yeast had a step on Madison. You don't see that very often. He's the guy who's maybe an All-American this year, played well a, a year ago. Not very many people will have the guts or the courage to wear number 13. Ken Riley, 14 years in the NFL, one of the all-time top five. So far for Madison, it has been nothing but good luck, no bad luck with number 13. Second down 10, 2.44, the clock stopped in the second quarter. White, the running back, hit and stood up straight by McLeod. Don't have a count of tackles for Tyrus McLeod, but he's been in on a ton of them. White on the carry, picks up a couple of yards. Carl Powell goes out of the game for one of the defensive ends, maybe a little bit shaken up. Tyrus McLeod. The senior out of Papado Beach, 6'2", 251 pounds. They, they say McLeod can bench press 500 pounds. Now, if I took 500 pounds and put it on an incline, I, I could even roll it downhill. <laughs> Rushing seven yards so far for UK tonight in this game on this Louisville defense. Flags all over the field on third down. Two minutes and two seconds here at Commonwealth Stadium the third renewal of this Kentucky Louisville series in the modern era. They didn't play from 1924 to 1994. Dead ball, ball start, offense, five yard penalty, the down remains third. Kentucky bothered by penalties and block punts. Kentucky success a five yard penalty. Well, there's very quick movement. It looks like Honaker, he is the senior. As I said before, this is a very inexperienced offensive line. The University of Louisville basically have had their way. I had a chance to talk with Everett Weathers, the defensive coordinator who's in his second year as the coordinator. The one thing that he did talk about was that how well his de defense had performed in practice during tour days. They certainly dominated the Louisville offense throughout the two-a-day practices. Now they're Going to correct the time on the clock. It said it should be 2.03. There it is being corrected right on your screen. Yep, now it's going up. That's going up instead of down. Somebody hit the wrong direction button. <laughs> hit the down arrow there. Two minutes, three seconds. That's what it should be. Third down, 13. Ball is on. The Kentucky 43. Louisville leads this game 17 to 7. They have put 17 unanswered on the board since trailing Kentucky 7 to nothing. Haskins. He's got pressure from a cloud and down he goes back at the 30-yard line. Boy, the Louisville defense is just dominating this football game. McLeod has simply been all over the football field. I mean, just all over. Four sacks last season. He's been outstanding. Five sacks for the team tonight, Lewis. 
Watch this. Haskins has to be just a little bit nervous. Watch him here on your screen, number seven. Watch the pressure up the middle. Once McLeod gets those big paws on you, it's, it's just like you have to go down. Watch it. Watch Lockett. Lockett opens up the hole, basically. You see two guys go after Lockett. The hole opens up, and he's in the, he's in the middle. Well, Carter finally gets off a punt. Fair catch, Rico Clark. And Louisville will have it at the U of L 24-yard line. A minute two on the clock for the first half. Louisville 17 and Kentucky 7. So Rico Clark and the defense leaves the field. We've got a full house here at Commonwealth Stadium to watch this third renewal of this series. Very big ball game. A lot of anticipation. I was driving on my way up. You see all the pennants, all the people driving in to see the ball game. This could turn out to be one of the biggest rivalries in the country. It certainly is developing in that way. Nate on the handoff to Otis Floyd. Now remember, Floyd is going to be the ball carrier. Frank Moreau, uh, the starting running back for Louisville, is out with an injured knee. Schellenberger on the stop. And of course, McLaurin is out. He's also hurt. Here is uh, Moreau being helped up and on the uh, a vehicle to be transported out. He has hurt his knee and will not play, we are told, again in this football game. So McLaurin is out for Kentucky. Moreau is out for the University of Louisville. Otis Floyd is in the backfield along with Ivan Green, number six. Payne, pass complete and drop. Boy, he had it right in the hands of Mike Bogan. Last year, the tight end was used very little in the passing game by Louisville. Well, the tight end had three catches last year, all of last year. I talked with offensive coordinator Brett Ingles about why did you go away from the tight end? He said, we made a mistake by going away from the tight end earlier. We had uh, four guys to catch over 30 balls. It had been great if we used the tight end. That really gives us another uh, another weapon. And, and, and maybe that's why, because it's very difficult for a tight end to make that kind of a catch. Well, Bogan let it get out of his arms, so Louisville now third down in five, only one out of seven on third down conversions. And Payne will do it in the air if he can, goes for Green and overthrows him out of bounds. Green was double covered and there was nearly uh, nothing open there. Stops the clock at 17 seconds, fourth down and five. Smart move by Payne to throw the ball away. One of the very few times they've been able to get pressure on Jason Payne. Watch him here on your screen, number four. He sets up. Really has pretty good time. He really didn't take a step towards the quarterback. Got knocked down. He did a great job, though, of just getting rid of the football. If you throw it away, make sure you throw it out of bounds. He did just that. 17 seconds to go. And Forsyth on the punt will stand inside the level 20. He's averaged 46.3 and had a 50-yarder. This is another booming punt by Forsyth. Boy, he's been impressive. Sanford has also been impressive with his returns, but not on this one. He is corralled out over the 27 with five seconds to go in a half. Bethel and Jason Wyatt stopping. An eight-yard return by Keo Sanford. Billy Jack Haskins will come back, uh, Lewis, here to quarterback this last play. And Sanford is a guy who is very very and extremely dangerous. Every time he gets his hand uh, on the football, anything can happen. And it's because of Sanford that they have finally that Kentucky has some points on the board. Their offense has not been able to move the ball on this Louisville defense throughout the first half. 17 to 7, Louisville by 10 points with five seconds to go. Haskins is going to down it. They'll run the clock out. I'm sure when the second half starts, you're going to hear chance for Tim Couch. We'll wait and see if we see the freshman phenom number two in the second half. Kentucky trailing Louisville. 17 to 7. We'll take a this one is an interception return by Sam Madison. This is a mistake to throw this just up in the air, especially when you backed up and especially when you throw it in the area of Sam Madison. Watch this run to the right. He's going to come back left, a little bit further left. Now watch him cut straight up field. Touchdown, and the defense has done the job the entire ball game. Well, that's a look at the National City going the distance replay. A touchdown on a block punt, an interception return, a fumble return. The offense for Louisville is yet to score a touchdown, but it's 24-7, to Louisville leading Kentucky. And as they come out onto the field, Kentucky is making a change at quarterback. They are bringing in the freshman, maybe, 
We'll see. He's come off the bench. Tim Couch. There are two flags down out on the field. We'll have to see what that is. But the 6'5", much heralded quarterback out of Hyden, Kentucky. What do you think, uh, Lewis Breeden, the way this little defense has been playing? That's a tough position for a freshman quarterback. The freshman quarterback, all everything coming out of high school, but this is not high school. I'm not sure if Dan Marino or anyone else in the National Football League could do a pretty good job at, at least throwing the football with that kind of pressure. He doesn't have anywhere to go with the football. He's not getting very much help from the young, inexperienced ball, offensive line. And I'm really a little, a little surprised that they would put McLeod in this kind of a ball game in this situation where his team is down and they've got so much pressure on the quarterback and they haven't found a way to really protect him. It's a very, very tough position. And the fans are going to give a standing ovation to Tim Couch. Well, they're backed up. A penalty has given Kentucky the ball on its own 10-yard line. Here's Couch. Hand off up the middle. Nothing there. McLaurin got almost nothing. And I really think the defense is getting a little bit excited just to see a, a freshman quarterback come into the ball game. Well, as an old defensive player, to see a defense like Louisville playing tonight, that, that must be pleasing to you. Well, they can wear their badge of honor whenever you can get a quarterback out of the game. I think a lot of it had to do his hand, Haskins, may be bothering him a little bit. Those last few throws, and we've talked about it, he hasn't delivered the football all that well. Now the question, can the freshman sensation do any better? Second and eight. And there's an offsides. Louisville jumping across the line of scrimmage. They're explaining something to Powell. Our referee, Dave Whitvet. Powell says it's on Kentucky. And the one thing that the University of Louisville has done all ball game, they didn't have any penalties in the first half. I mean, penalties are a big part of the ball game. Ball start. Ball start. A five yard penalty. Don remains second. A new quarterback into the ball game. Different sound, different beat. A lot of time, offensive linemen will jump, will anticipate. They are used to one rhythm. All of a sudden, they get a different one. Louisville fans looking on. Cardinals up 24 to 7, third quarter. Tim Couch, the most prolific passer in the history of high school football. He threw for over 12,000 yards and 133 touchdowns in high school. Now he's in college. From his own end zone, Couch comes out. Up to the 17 yard line. He needed the 20 to get a first down. Well, Couch has been on the sideline, and he's a good study. He knows that guys are coming up field, and watch what he does when he feels the pressure coming up the middle. He's going to tuck the ball under his elbows, and watch what he does. Just run the smart thing, the little slide. I would advise a feet slide first. Third and three after the game by Couch on the ground. On the 17-yard line. Couch runs the option to McLaurin. He cuts up over the 20. Got the first down. Raymond McLaurin, number 21, the senior out of North Harden High School, making the second start of his career, has got the first down. He was hit by John Fuqua. That's a gain of and if I'm defensive, if, if I'm the defensive coordinator, what I'm going to say on this play on McLaurin, make sure you stay with Lauren. This is a 6'5 freshman high school quarterback, a throwing quarterback. I don't think he can run the option running the football and don't think he really wants to. First down for the Wildcats at their 25. 11 minutes left in the third quarter. Louisville 24, Kentucky 7. And Couch, trap, gets away. Let's the ball go out of bounds incomplete. Good job. He was under pressure from Golston. And then after that, more pressure from Carl Powell. But he was able to get away. Well, that's the difference in a big, strong quarterback. Watch Couch here. Immediately feels the pressure coming from the outside by Golston. And watch the little mop up here by Powell. But he, he's able to get the football away. 
Ball still at the 25 on the incompletion. Second and 10 for Kentucky. 10.50 to go. All eyes in Commonwealth Stadium, you know, are focused on couch. Here goes Couch, fires it incomplete and right into the teeth of the Louisville defense. Well, it was back in the zone, basically looking at that area the whole time, pretty much in anticipation. They saw it coming and defensively. Uh, they're just outstanding, swarming all over the football. Pretty good arm strength by Couch though, but you can see the inexperience, probably a ball that shouldn't have been thrown. It'll bring up third down and 10 on that incompletion. Kentucky's got yeast in at a receiver. As McCord, a freshman, comes out for the third and ten. You know Louisville's looking for this. Here he goes. Fires it out to the corner to Yeast. He's got it, but just back to the line of scrimmage where he's wrapped up by Raymond Brayen. Along with Rice Lockett, he was in there putting on the pressure on Couch as he released the ball. So that's it. It's a punting situation now for the Wildcats. And right now, Dave, I don't think it really matters what quarterback they put on the football field. He's going to be down on the ground. This defense has been phenomenal, and the offense hasn't found a way to counter it. So it is Jimmy Carter, who's had two blocks tonight, gets this one out of there. Rico Clark bobbles it. Rico Clark able to recover. And not suffer any damage. Louisville have the ball at their 26, 27-yard line as Couch goes to the headsets for Kentucky. On our McDonald's scoreboard right now, it's the University of Louisville leading Kentucky 24-7. We'll be back after this break. Used cars on sale now at Clapholtz in Clarksville. This is the biggest inventory Clapholtz has ever had. Over 100 cars to choose from, many different makes and models, colors and years, all the brands Kentuckiana wants. So get here before everybody else does. And don't bring any money, because no money down gets you a quality used car from Clapholtz. That's right, you drive away with your money in your pocket. No money down. Used cars on sale now at Clapholtz, Highway 131 in Clarksville. Training is such a bore. Nothing's more intense than slamming a dude. Whoa. Well, Andre's really on fire. Whoa. Gotta hand it to those new coaches. Bravo! Brilliant! Smash it! Good shot! Out. This is our Bluegrass Automotive Game Summary. The turnovers in this game, there have only been two of them by Kentucky, but boy, Lewis Breeden, have they been costly. The defense has been extremely good. They've been all over them the entire ball games. Interceptions, block punts, pick them up, running in, running in fumbles as well. This is a defensive coordinator's dream. They have really taken advantage of every opportunity. And of course, Kentucky not generating any offense against the Louisville defense. That's a look at the Bluegrass Automotive Summary. And now the Pepsi Preview Board as they look at other UofL sports in action. The men's soccer team in Evansville, Indiana. That's on uh, the 1st of September on Labor Day or tomorrow. Also the women's soccer team at Ohio State in Columbus. The men's team comes back to Louisville to host Cincinnati at Cardinal Field on the 4th. And Valparaiso on September the 6th at Cardinal Field as well. Global with the ball. Jason Payne is the quarterback. And the handoff for a little bit of yardage off the left side. Number 22, Donnell Gordon, the former Kentucky running back. He did not play in the Kentucky Louisville game last year. It was after that he decided to transfer to Louisville. Didn't play anymore, of course, last year. And now he's back in Lexington where he's got a lot of friends. He and Ray McLaurin have remained good friends. And you know that this young man would like to do something big tonight. 9.22 to go. Loyola with a big 24-7 lead. Give it to Gordon. He breaks, looks up the middle and gets a big gain of about eight yards. 
Yeah. First big game for Donnell Gordon. We haven't seen a lot of the offense. You would have thought the offense would have packed their bags up and left already. Maybe just a little stiff. A lot of points on the board. Not a lot of offense. But watch it here. Watch the cut. Gordon's a different runner than what Moreau is. And you know, being transferred, transferring from the UK, you know he wants to come out here and get as many carries, get as many yards, and tell those guys after a ball game, I told you so. Frank Moreau is out with a knee injury, so Donnell Gordon figures to get a lot of carries here in this second half. Trying to get a first down. Gordon bounces loose. I think he's got it up over the 37-yard line. He needed to get about that much. He was hit by Littleton Ward, number four. A junior out of Lexington. Three yard gain. Louisville got the first down. Donnell Gordon. With their offensive line right now, a little bit more experience, a lot more experience rather than what UK is. And you can see the difference in the two offenses. They can protect the quarterback, they can run the football a little bit more effectively. And when you can do two things, then it makes the whole offense works better. This is Jason Payne now, the Cardinals' first down in 10, 8 19 in the third quarter. Payne with time to throw, complete to Montano, up over the 45 to the 47-yard line, close to a first down. Van Heil, senior out of Baton Rouge, number 17 on the stop. Well, here is the pass here. Watch Montano, as I said before, a guy last year who had 50 catches. The way this ball game is going, I'm probably sure that he's thinking we're just not going to get a chance to catch many passes. Pretty good hook against the zone on the outside and that's a pretty good move 24 points are on the board but the Louisville offense has not scored a touchdown it's been the defense and a field goal Donnell Gordon the ball carrier up the middle and he has got the first down that was second and very short he got more than enough yardage for a first down Van Hiles again on the touch on the uh, tackle Boy, it's certainly a lot easier when you can go second and short and you, on first down. First down is so critical. If you can make yards, five, six yards on first down, it gives you some options on second down. You can pass, you can run, you can run the draw, you can run the screen. The Cardinal Bird leads. Cheers. Louisville now with about a football on first down. Just over seven minutes to go in the third quarter. They lead 24 to 7. On the ground, Donnell Gordon over the 50, down to about the 48. He gets about three more yards. A Louisville eating time off the clock and eating up yardage as well. Jeff Tanner, 55. The left defensive tackle making the first start of his career, a senior for Kentucky. When we talk about Gordon wanting to get as many carries as he uh, as he possibly can in this ball game, he just may get his wish with the lead 24-7. Now Jason Payne has gone all the way. Donnell Gordon in the backfield, five rushes for 18 yards, averaging just under four yards a carry. This time he's hit, escapes, hit again, and knocked back by the UK defense. Knocked back by Lamont Smith, the junior from Cincinnati, number 45, a returning starter for Kentucky. So Donnell Gordon couldn't get anything on that run. No game. Third down. A loss, in fact, of three. Third and ten. Bill Curry. Well, you know Bill Curry is not happy with the way his offense has performed in this ball game. Defensively, not a bad job for him. Four and seven last year and hoping to improve on it this year. Seventh season at Kentucky. Curry, 22 and 45 record. Drops the pass, pressure threw it down and incomplete. That was on third down. He was being chased by 99, Mark Jacobs, sophomore out of Shalimar, Florida. There's been a rule change this year on intention of rounding. As long the, there, there, it used to be as long as there was a receiver in the area. Now the receiver has to be at least looking at the quarterback. If he's not looking or making some kind of an attempt, they're going to call intention of grounded on the quarterback. Watch him here coming out. And obviously you see the official here looking at the play. He had to be looking towards the quarterback. And now Jeremy Borson, who's had an outstanding night of punting, averaging 48 yards a punt. High drop and a high, high punt. Sanford watches it hit into the end zone. Touchback. And Kentucky will bring it out to the 20. Clock stops, 535 on the clock in the third quarter. 
Louisville leading Kentucky 24 to 7. We'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium after we take a break. Stay with us. PNC Bank and Fox 41 present Cardinals Standing Tall. The letter S stands for service. Hi, I'm Beth Cannell. I'm a member of the University of Louisville volleyball team. As a student athlete, I try to be both successful at volleyball and be a good person. Every member of our team tries to dedicate herself to helping others. We realize that others may not be as fortunate as us. Winning in athletics may give us a real feeling of satisfaction, but helping others gives us an even greater feeling of accomplishment. Each team at UofL is working with a charitable organization. Our team is working with St. Anthony's Outreach Center. Providing this service is a good way to build character and be a good role model. By lending our time, we are not only helping those who are less fortunate, but are also making our community a better place in which to live. So remember, help others in need by serving our community. Then you can be a Cardinal too. This has been Cardinals Standing Tall. Brought to you by PNC Bank and Fox 41. Nobody likes being in the dark. The unknown can be scary. Especially when it comes to fixing your brakes. At Midas, everything is out in the open. Right there for you to see. They even wrote a book on it. A system for working on your car. For example, every Midas brake job starts with a written 45-point inspection. They'll show you the work, explain your repair options, and let you decide what gets done. It's the Midas way, the system that works. So you get it done right, buy the book, and guaranteed. Midas Auto Systems experts, what can we do for you today? On our McDonald's scoreboard, it's Louisville 24, Kentucky 7 in the third quarter, 5.35 to go. David Sullivan and Lewis Breton with you here at Commonwealth Stadium. Kentucky led it 7 to nothing. 24 unanswered points by Louisville. UK now on first and 10 from the Kentucky 20. Tim Couch, the freshman, is at quarterback. Runs the option to McLaurin. McLaurin turns the corner upfield over the 25 to the 26. Pretty good option run by the young quarterback. And I know when I uh, came into this ball game and I saw all of those stats, I'm wondering myself, if he comes into the ball game, what kind of what kind of adjustments do they make? Will they allow him to run the option? And what I'm what I would say is, here's a guy in high school here. Watch him. See the strength in the arm here. That's playing at Leslie County, and he racked up over 12,000 yards and 133 touchdowns. All kinds of numbers in high school. Great numbers in high school. Now, what can he do in college? Second down in five, 5.30 to go. And as he develops, you know, Kentucky is going to expect some big things. Complete this pass up over the 35 to the 36. And the man on the coverage was San uh, Madison. Keo Sanford, number six, was the receiver. And you saw the arm strength in couch on, on that particular play. The offensive line, Lennon is a guy who has started 11 games for. Matter of fact, he was all SEC last year as a freshman. Everyone else, a sophomore, and only one other starter has at least one start. Now, couch looks at a first down on the Kentucky 36. Hand off up the middle, there's nothing there. It's stacked up at about the 35-yard line. Kendrick Golston, junior out of Chicago, and Terry Rice Lockett, the junior out of St. Louis from linebacker, team up on the stop. The sprint draw on that play on to the, the left side of the football Kendrick play Golston. field takes a long time to develop. A very aggressive defense can really penetrate, uh, get back into the backfield. It doesn't make the play that effective. Anthony White, 32, is into the game for Kentucky. So is Quentin McCord, a true freshman out of LaGrange, Georgia, number 12. He splits to the bottom of the screen. And true freshman quarterback, Tim Couch. Looks like Louisville might be lining up with a blitz, and it confused Couch, perhaps. He calls timeout. Well, you see that happen a lot with the very young quarterback. A lot of guys up at the line of scrimmage, a particular play call probably wouldn't work, unsure. John remains second. And probably the biggest thing is that he's had so much pressure and he's been on the sidelines seeing so much pressure, not knowing when they're going to come. Yeah, let's just do something. Let's take a timeout. I don't want to take the same kind of hit. 
He didn't get the timeout in time, and they got tagged for a delay of game and a penalty that has pushed it back five yards. Craig East in the game at receiver for Kentucky, number three. Couch now second down and 15 after the penalty from the 31. Throws the plate. Not much on that for Keo Sanford. John Fuqua, the junior in the backfield, the defensive secondary for Louisville made the stop. So Couch, a completion, but uh, very little yardage. John Fuqua, his father, Frenchy Fuqua, who played with the Pittsburgh Steelers. In my opinion, if you're a former football player, he's the kind of guy you really love to hate because he has two Super Bowl rings. <laughs> and when you want to go out at night, he won't let you wear one of them. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Tim Couch does with this situation. Third down and 14 from the 32 with 3.30 to go in the third quarter. Kentucky trailing 24 to seven. And they're looking to a freshman quarterback. That one was tipped, I believe, by McLeod. Tyrus McLeod, look, Sam Madison's going to come over and give him a big hug. He knows who broke up that particular pass. Well, it's been teamwork all game long. Watch the pass here. There is McLeod right into the lane of the zone. You see, Mark, you see Clark coming over as well. Madison limping off of the field after that play. You wonder, maybe a calf muscle that's uh, cramping up on him. 3.22 on the clock here, and Jimmy Carter, oh, what a dangerous thing. He's had two blocked. Good snap. Finally, barely got that one away. Rico Clark, nowhere to go. He's smothered at the 35. The charge led by Lamont Smith and Chris Ford of Kentucky. We got 3.11 to go in the third quarter. Louisville leading 24 to 7. Return of a yard. This Pepsi preview looks at the 1996 University of Louisville home football schedule. That first home game comes up on September the 14th against Baylor. And then two weeks later, after a road trip to Michigan State, the Cardinals are back at Cardinal Stadium to face Southern Mississippi, then Northern Illinois, Cincinnati, and Memphis, all coming up at home. Ticket information the number on your screen. First down and 10, Jason Payne, the quarterback. We have not seen Chris Redman tonight. Wrapped up, Donnell Gordon, number 22. Lamont Smith, 45, one of those tacklers down on the bottom of that stack. Also, Deli Ali, number 22, a linebacker. Dave, the one thing we do know about this ball game is that on the other side, the red side, Louisville, there is no quarterback controversy. The other side, the guys in blue, you're pretty sure you're going to hear it all week long is there's going to be a quarterback controversy. Is it going to be Haskins or is it going to be Count? This is Jason Payne. Payne, under pressure, throws it out here to the screen pass to Gordon, and it is incomplete. That play just never materialized and set up. But we haven't seen a lot of offense from either offense the entire ball game. A lot of pressure on the quarterback. Here we go again. Most of the pressure has come up the middle. And up the middle once again, he's going to take the lick here. But the one thing that Jason Payne has done very well is make good decisions. He hasn't thrown the ball in the opposing player's arms. He's thrown the ball wide. He's thrown the ball out of bounds. This game was 17 to 7 Louisville at halftime with two and a half to go in the third quarter. It's 24 to 7. 24 unanswered points by Louisville. Shotgun formation for Payne. Third and 11. Payne looks and throws, and he's got his receiver, but I think he's going to be just short of the first down. Needed to get the 45-yard line. I think it's about a yard short of what he needed. Tony Woods, outstanding coverage for Kentucky. Wood, a big hit on that play. I mean, you've got to love the hit, but you also have to love Montano. Not a big guy. 50 catches, as I said a year ago. Will catch the ball across the middle of the football field. Doesn't have a lot of speed, but when you can make those kind of catches and read the defense, you don't need great speed. It's fourth down, one to go. Montano is out. Two tight ends are in, Bogan and Crowley. As Louisville is going to gamble and go for it on fourth down and less than a yard. Donnell Gordon cannot turn the corner. 
So Louisville challenged the Kentucky defense and lost. Kentucky will get the ball and good field position. That only says one thing. I guarantee you, one thing only. I've got a heck of a lot of confidence in my defense. They've done it all game long. If we give the ball up here, I've got confidence. They won't let them go 45 yards down the football field and score. Well, that is supreme confidence by Ron Cooper in his defense as there just was nothing here for Donnell Gordon. Well, you see all the blue hats in the backfield, number nine. <laughs> well, I love the jump. That looks like an Olympic long jump more than a tackle than anything else. That was a bit overly dramatic, wasn't it? Met. Timeout, Kentucky. We've got a minute 31 with a timeout, Kentucky. The UK Athletics Department would like to thank And it is 24 to seven, Louisville leading the ball game. UK football kickoff luncheon. Now, Kentucky has not scored since they got a touchdown at 9.25 of the first quarter. Tim Couch getting some instructions here on the sideline. His team is down by 17 points. He's a freshman quarterback. He's got an inexperienced offensive line in front of him. Lewis, what is the thinking going on here, do you think, on the sideline? With the young quarterback, you always want to keep things simple. I mean, he hasn't been in the system long enough to know to know everything, know how to make the right decisions. What complicates it for him for Couch is that the defense, normally in practice, seven on seven, team drills, uh, you, you can do some things. They're not going to hit you. They're going to lay off of you. And you know that. So mentally, you can complete the pass. This is live. This is not a scrimmage back in Kentucky. So Couch now looks at this situation. He's completed three out of six for 15 yards. It is first and ten. He's got the ball on the 43 of Louisville. After the Cardinals went on fourth down and won and gambled and lost. So he's got some field position to work with for once. When he came into the game for the first series, they were backed up inside the Kentucky 10. And you know the one thing that linemen will do on this particular situation, they're going to just, they're just going to put their hands down, get their feet set, and just go. They're going to rush. We've got them in passing situations. We've got cornerbacks who can cover. We know they can cover. We've got safeties who will be in the right positions as a cornerback. I know that guy's going to be in where he's supposed to be when guys coming across the middle. We can take some chances now. And Tyrus McLeod standing in the middle, anchoring the linebacking core. He's played a big football game for Louisville tonight. Great game. Couch pass dropped around the 40-yard line. That was Quentin McCord, number 12, that was the intended receiver. Fans getting on the PA announcer who said Haskins' pass was incomplete. And that was a great pass by Couch. That's why they got him. McCord really didn't keep his eye on that one. In the out is a very diff difficult pass to try and com to complete for a young quarterback. Going away from the quarterback, watch him. Watch his eyes here. His eyes are really not on the football. So Couch and a wild catch look at second and ten. A minute 27 to go, third quarter. Couch is trapped and down he goes back at midfield. The protection was not there, but Leland Taylor was. The senior, the transfer from Tennessee. 6'4", 310 pounds. Ron Cooper said he's never seen anybody block him one-on-one -on -one in a passing situation. And you know Leland Taylor had to sit out all season long, had a chance to play back in Tennessee. This is the year he has a really chance to play. And I talked with the coordinator, Everett. He thought that because they had the two guys inside, that they would be a better ball club because of he and Conway. Taylor and Conway on the inside, a lot more mobility. Leland Taylor gave you a glimpse of that mobility, the seventh sack of the Kentucky quarterback in this game. Third down, 17. Couch short drop. Can't find anybody. He's going to get nailed, but he completed the pass to White. 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 Anthony White. There is, however, a flag back at midfield. Anthony White took the pass from Couch. 
and Couch tells you right there it's on Kentucky. A lot of times when you see a quarterback and he is scrambling and he is running, offensive linemen normally, they don't know really what direction. You see a lot of arms go out, and the officials will allow the guys to really have some uh, some flexibility here. They're not going to call anything, basically, offensive linemen hold, and it has to be pretty flagrant. Now the referee, uh, these are Big Ten officials working tonight's game, will give us the official call, but it is on Kentucky, and it will wipe out a touchdown. Ineligible downfield on the offense. Five-yard penalty, previous spot, repeat, third down. He took a good shot on that after releasing the ball from McLeod. Laying on his back, looking up, pulling his pads in. The pads have been all, like, all out on Haskins, and watch the reaction here. I just can't believe it. Had a touchdown, and then he didn't have one. 22 seconds left in the third, and now Couch and the Wildcats third and 22 from the 45. Over the middle, Couch, it's incomplete. He tried to get it out there, and it was intended for Mason, but it went dropped incomplete. Number 84, Mason couldn't hang on, and so Kentucky will punt it away. Norman Mason, the receiver, a junior. Well, Counts feels he should have had a touchdown on that series. Well, you see the frustration of the entire ball club. He's just uh, another guy who's going to display that. But, but so far, he's been pretty poor under the circumstances. And I really like his mobility. I was questioning whether he had that kind of mobility. Jimmy Carter, he's had two blocked tonight. Takes a long time to get it away. And now with 14 seconds to go, Montano... Bubble. Who's got it? It's loose at the 20-yard line. Kentucky says they've got it. Louisville says we've got it. The officials try to unravel and find out who's got the ball. Kentucky. Well, that is the second fumble tonight by the Cardinals of Louisville. And that is a cardinal sin, if you will, in the eyes of Ron Cooper. Watch the hand go in on the football. It knocks it out. Now, I guarantee you, this ball probably changes hands under this pile, under this scrum four or five times. Montana, who has not been receiving punch tonight, it's been Rico Clark. And you wonder why Rico Clark, I don't know why he wasn't in on this particular punt, but you can see here a lot of hustle, a lot of blue hats on the play. Looked like Schellenberger was the man who came up with it. First down and 10. Couch now with another opportunity for Curtis. Touchdown! He's got his first touchdown as a college quarterback. Well, great play. University of Louisville giving them another opportunity to score. Watch it here. Couch on the drop back. Pressure coming from the outside. It looked like Ghost and the watch this. Perfect. Clark jumping. Not, not able to get anything on it. But watch this. He's hit. One touchdown. He thought he had a touchdown. Turn back. You can't deny him this time. No, sir. He comes back and gets it. It's now 24 to 13. The point after coming up. It's up, and it is good. It's good. Louisville's lead is now chopped to 10. 24 to 14. That was the final play of the third quarter. A couch touchdown pass. Pepsi Stuff Catalog. Now, the more Pepsi you drink, the more great stuff you're going to get. Sure beats the bus. <laughs> What makes you comfortable? Is it as simple as the twist of a thermostat? Or is it the peace of mind that comes with getting your money's worth? 
At LG and E, we know that it's both. And that's why you feel the benefits of one of the lowest energy costs in the country. A fact that brings more than a little comfort to a whole lot of people. LG and E, our energies go to serving you. Handcrafted in the finest gold and crystal, representing pride and honor. Kroger is proud to present the Governor's Cup for the annual U of L UK football game. The tradition continues. Inventories have reached their peak at your local Ford dealer, and that could only mean one thing. Okay, open it up. It's time for factory authorized Clarence. Oh, <laughs> hey guys. And he's clearing out the 96s and passing the savings on to you. Well, that's my job. Now get $1,000 cash back on the number one selling Ford Taurus. That's $1,000 cash back on Consumer Digest Best Buy. Wow, this is big. So if you're looking to save a lot of cash, then look for me. Only at your local Ford dealer's factory authorized <laughs> clearance sells a football game at Commonwealth Stadium, Louisville, 24 to 14. Freshman Tim Couch has stormed off the Kentucky bench, rifled a touchdown pass to Isaac Curtis the third, and now Kentucky is only down by 10. Well, just like his father, father played about 12 years in the National Football League with the Bengals, his first catch of the ball game. He had about five or six catches last year. All of a sudden, it's a 10-point ball game, and all of a sudden, they've got to find some offense, Louisville does. So we start the fourth quarter on our Alliant Health System scoreboard 24 to 14. Alternative Health is 24 to 14. Louisville leading over Kentucky by 10. The Cardinals had scored 24 unanswered points until that Tim Couch touchdown pass. Louisville has gone all the way with quarterback Jason Payne. There's no indication that Chris Redmond is going to come off the bench. That ball goes out of bounds inside the 10. So, Lewis uh, Brayton, it looks like Tim Couch certainly came off the bench and has put some life into his football team and the fans at Commonwealth Stadium. The four third quarter statistics show you the story. Well, it's still, they haven't really done a whole heck of a lot except on this last series. A great effort uh, uh, by the quarterback making some things happen for him. Not a lot of yards, not a lot of offense, but defensively, this is a defense-dominated football game. You can see here, 12 yards rushing from a ball club that averaged 196 last year. Not very good stats, but they're in the ball game. Neither team with over 100 yards total through three quarters of football. Well, now to try and get some offense generated. Otis Floyd. He's wrapped up by linebacker Mike Schellenberger, the senior out of Louisville St. X High School. Number 49. He's certainly the leader of the Kentucky linebacking core. Schellenberger already working on his master's degree. He got his undergraduate degree. No gain. Second down and 10 for Louisville. And when you dissect and really look at this ball game, you will see that both defenses have played very well. Now all of a sudden, Louisville has to find a way to generate some offense. It's been the defense that's put the points on the board. Payne completes his pass to Ivan Green out over the 35. Hit there by Van Hiles and knocked out of bounds. Not enough for a first down. they got to get up to the 45 for a first down. Kind of a conservative play, looking that direction all the way. Really never had a chance to really catch it, green it, and, and run up the football field. Miguel Montano is out. You see where... It's third and long. First down, Otis Floyd knocked out of bounds, coming out of the out backfield. The sophomore who set out as a Proposition 48 last year makes the grab 
And that will bring up a first down for the Louisville Cardinals as we take a Primex inside look. And that's going to be a good play. play. He's just going to hold it and wait until the last second and get it out of here. He's going to drop back. You're going to get pressure coming from the inside. He's going to make sure that he finds this guy and get the ball to the outside. Watch the drop back here. Watch Floyd out of the backfield. Gets down the field just enough to make the reception. Hangs on to make the first down. That's our Primax inside look at the first down pass, Payne to Otis to Floyd. Floyd picks it up, the first down. We play just a minute of the fourth quarter. Louisville 24 to 14. Now Payne lost another one. This one is complete. And it's another first down. This one goes to another freshman, Ivan Green, who played at Mayo High School. And all of a sudden, the passing game is starting to click for Louisville. Bates, number five, lined up on the right side. And if Payne could have found him, it would have been a touchdown. Wide open in the middle of the football field. Watch Payne here, looking to his left. It looks like he may have been looking downfield, but, but, found, but found a receiver just, just wide open. 16-yard pickup on the play from Jason Payne to Ivan Green. First down and 10, balls on the Kentucky 37. Payne with time. Throws it into coverage, it's intercepted. That's the first uh, time that he's been intercepted in the ballgame, picked off by Van Hiles. Great play by number 17, Hiles, the senior. A little turn in, Ralph. He just stepped right in front and make a big play. Just when they are making some, some big plays throwing the football, Kentucky has basically shut down Louisville's running game in the third in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Now Kentucky, with more confidence it would appear, with Tim Couch after he got him a touchdown, comes back out onto the field. From the Kentucky 33, Couch on the option to Anthony White. Out over the 40-yard line, a gain of about eight by the red shirt freshman from Twinsburg, Ohio, Anthony White. 6'1", 195 pounds, hit by Raymond Brand and Kendrick Golston. The option is a play where the quarterback makes the decision. He has to make a good decision. That was a perfect decision, but once again, I'm going to say, I would make him run the football. Make sure you stay with the running back. He's the guy who can hurt you downfield. Now Tim Couch at second down and two. From the 41. Couch, long pass downfield. Incomplete. Not afraid to air it out. Sam Madison on the coverage. If you're going to throw in Sam Madison's direction, you're going to have to challenge him. I mean, he's just not going to let you beat him. This guy is one of the best defensive backs in the country. Here it goes again. Watch this. Just a simple up pattern. Looks to the inside. The great thing he did then was look back and find the football. If you can't find the football, you can't play on the receiver. And the play pass leaves it at third down two. It was 12-44 in the fourth of the quarter. Couch is hit, and as he gets the first down. That was third down, third down. Rice Lockett came up to hit him, and it looks like it may be short. Short of a first down. Less than a yard. And this is decision time. What did I do? What do I do now with Curry? Early in the fourth quarter, 12 minutes, 16 seconds left. You're down by 10, point of time in the ball game. They're going to go for it. 12 minutes to go, and Bill Curry says we will go for it. Now, what's the call? Couch on the sneak appears to have gotten enough forward progress for the first down. When your, quarter, when your quarterback is 6'5", you don't have to go too far. I mean, all you have to do is get that body out and reach over and just and just basically fall down. Louisville it's doesn't think they it, and it looks like they're going to measure. The referee, Dave Whitvet, says we'll measure. We've seen some, some pretty gutsy calls here from, from both ball clubs. Cooper deciding to go and was stopped on fourth down. 
And we see this when they're going to be stopped as well. What a great play. So the Louisville defense has turned the ball back over to the Louisville offense. A good stand. Bill Curry took a gamble. And now we'll have to see if he pays for that gamble. From, from my angle, from where I looked, I would have been willing to bet that he made the first down. Well, he looked like it, but it all is in the way they mark the football. Where they spot it. 11.55, fourth quarter. We'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium, but more action. Stay with us. Chevrolet has the line of cars more Americans trust. Golly. I'm so impressed. And right now, you'll find really impressive values during the model year closeout. Isn't it wonderful? How about a Chevy Lumina with air, automatic, and more standard horsepower than Ford Taurus GL for under 17.1? Say, you're nuts. That's over two grand less than Taurus. I'll be the happiest guy in the world. Chevrolet, the cars you can trust are priced to move. It's model year closeout at your Kentuckiana Chevrolet Geo dealer. Let's go! Tumble trap. Get in time. Uneven bar. Get in time. Spring floor. Get in time. Helpful instructor. Looking for a place to start messing. Join us at Gym Time. So much fun. You'll quit. Get in time. Money is supposed to earn money. But today, finding the right balance of investments that will do it takes a real professional. No one knows that better than Hilliard Lyons, because our goal is to help you build wealth, to help you achieve your own personal goals. And no, you don't have to be wealthy to begin with. Call us or stop by, and let's talk about ways to make your money grow. Hilliard Lyons. Our best investment is you. Louisville football, Kentucky tried to get it on fourth down and a foot, and they didn't get it. And so Louisville gets the ball back on down. Jason Payne, the quarterback. Chase out of the pocket, upfield, Payne running inside the 30, the 20, inside the 10, and out of bounds at the 5. What a great run by Jason Payne. I think this is Jason Payne's greatest strength as a quarterback. I think so, too. That's what they talked about, his versatility. The willingness to put the football down and run with it, winning down when he has a chance. Watch Jason Payne. Now, he's going to be pressured up the middle. He's had pressure up the middle on a lot of occasions. Now, watch the run. Puts the football down. Almost tackled there. Watch Supi here, number, number 54. Out of bounds. 32-yard run. Jason Payne sets it at the 10-yard line of Kentucky. Big series for Louisville. They lead by 10. 24 to 14. 11-43 of the fourth quarter. Otis Floyd floating out around the end. Now he cuts it upfield down to about the 7. Floyd kind of just floating out around that end before he made some forward burst of speed. The right cornerback, Van Hiles, makes a great play on this. He's the fourth guy on the route right side. His job is to make sure that the running back doesn't get outside. Don't let the guy outflank you. Made him cut it up to pursuit gets there. Pick up of yardage down to the Kentucky six. Second and goal. Just over 11 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Payne, throwing. Big hit leveled on Ivan Green, number six. Van Hiles and Keo Wilson, number one. Boy, they really lowered the boom. And that's a good play. When you back up in the end zone defensively, you don't back up as far. All you want them to do, catch the ball underneath, and you do exactly what they've done. Hit him. Knock him out of bounds. Here it is again. Can't get downfield. Play in the zone. Get him out of bounds. Deny him the first down. Third down and goal from the Kentucky four-yard line. Payne 
goes down around the goal line for Otis Floyd, number 17. And Floyd does not get in, and that'll bring the kicking team, the field goal team, probably on the field. And they may go for it. It's going to be fourth down. Otis Floyd out of the backfield. Watch this. Now watch him take a shot. Now if he doesn't catch the football and bring it into his chest very quickly, with that kind of a shot, that's where you see the fumbles. They did not bring the kicking team out. They did bring Leland Taylor, number 56 in, a 300-pounder on fourth down near the goal line. And they have lined Taylor up in the backfield. Leland Taylor is lined up as a ball carrier. He is 6'4", 310 pounds. This must be some kind of a sequel, Refrigerator Perry 2. Is this what this is? They've been practicing this play. Can he hold on to the football? No, give it to him. Give it to Floyd, and he scores. Otis Floyd got his first touchdown as a Cardinal. And a great lead block by the defensive tackle transfer from Tennessee, Leland Taylor. And that's a badly needed insurance touchdown for Louisville. 30 to 14, pending the extra point. And David Akers is lining up to kick it. Otis Floyd from Southfield, Michigan. Is down and Dakers drills it through the uprights. Well, David Akers is online to become Louisville's all-time scorer this season. If he has a good one, it's 31 to 14. Louisville over Kentucky. Do the do shot. If you're old enough to want a guitar, you're old enough to rent one. If you're old enough to appreciate a bass, you're old enough to rent one. If you're old enough to feel the beat, you can rent a drum set at the doo Shop. Rent a guitar and amp, a bass and amp, drums with cymbals, school band instruments, DJ and karaoke setups. doo the doo Shop. Hardstown Road in the Highlands. You're old enough. <laughs> For centuries, the spirit of exploration has led to the discovery of new worlds and beyond. That same spirit has led the experts of the Kenton D. Leatherman Spine Center to pioneer the treatment of spinal injury and disease. But with all that we've accomplished, we're working toward more advancements in spinal treatment for the future. And with a spirit of exploration like that, virtually anything's possible. We're part of the Norton Hospital Spine and Neuroscience Center. City going the distance. Great play and the touchdown by Otis Floyd. Makes the score 31 to 14 Louisville. 9.39 to go. You can join thousands of Cardinal fans and subscribe to the Louisville Sports Report, your expert source for Louisville or Cardinal Sports, the nation's only weekly magazine exclusively devoted to in-depth coverage of UofL sports. It is an excellent publication. You can call now and get 32 issues for only $39.95. The nation's most complete coverage of the cards. Louisville Sports Report. The Louisville Cardinal Band and Cheerleaders at Commonwealth Stadium. The Cardinals 31 and the Wildcats 14. It's good. And Akers knocks it out of the end zone. Kentucky will take over the 20. Uh, Kentucky will bring it out to the 20. Well, since the third quarter, it has been Tim Couch, the freshman at quarterback for the Wildcats, as Billy Jack Haskins has gone to the sideline. On our alternative health scoreboard, you look at the score and time remaining. 31-14 U of L. 
9.39 on the clock. And that last play makes it so big. It's still a two-possession ball game, but it makes them get touchdowns on two possessions and go for two-point conversion. Couch has got time, dumps it over the middle to Curtis, complete. Big game by Curtis over the 35 to the 37. Ball popped loose, but I think it was blown dead. Brian and McLeod on the tackle. First down, Kentucky. Quick hit over the middle to Curtis. We haven't seen the tight ends from either team be a part of the offense. We saw Curtis catch the touchdown pass earlier. This time is Isaac Curtis, the third, over the middle. Watch the tackle. That is a pretty good tackle. His father is in the stands. I'm sure he's proud. Wore the same number, number 85. You and Isaac Curtis, of course, uh, teammates with the Bengals and good friends. Couch runs the option. The pitch to White. Picks up a few over the 40-yard line. Anthony White's hit by John Fuqua and Tyrus McLeod. With Couch looking as good as he is today, in this kind of a situation, a lot of pressure for a freshman. I'm not so sure if I want him running the option. It looks like they may have problem running the football. I may just change, go back to the drawing board, change my offense, and let him do what he does best, and that's throw the football. Uh, I think that's a good observation, and he is now under center on second and nine. Probably put it up this time. Drop back throw. Well, he rifled the ball. He's the intended receiver. Incomplete pass, third down and nine. Clock stop with nine minutes left. And that was another football that should have been caught. The ball was thrown hard. The ball was thrown on target, down low, where you want it to be. You don't want it to get picked off. You need to score a touchdown. Sam Madison is left off of the field. So we've got Bethel, Rico Clark, John Fuqua, and Darren Wiley, a backup to Madison on the field. You think Couch will recognize it and go after Wiley? Throws over here, complete, and knocked down. No, it's incomplete, pass was dropped. A good lick delivered there by Tony Bethel on the coverage. Ajis could not hold on to it. He was hit hard. Great play by the cornerback. The one thing you can do when you're in man-to-man -man situations, watch the receiver. He'll take you to the football every time. Watch the throw. Watch the hit. Never had possession. Couch with the pretty good throw and, and the drop. Rico Clark is back to receive this punt. Miguel Montano fielded the last one and fumbled it. Nine punts by Carter in this game. Two of them were blocked. Clark from the 15. Flags down. Could be a clip. Lamont Smith flags on the play. Now we'll get a reading on the flags. The clock stopped 844 in the ball game. 31 to 14 Louisville. So a holding call against Louisville on the return. And normally when you have flags and you have them in that area on a return, is normally on the receiving team. You've got good good backs who can who can catch the Third ball and run back. it. Push in the back by the receiving team. Half the distance to the goal line, first down. The thing that's well, so difficult for a guy who's trying to block for a receiver is trying to figure out exactly which direction he's going to go. A lot of times you can be in a situation to make a block, he changes his direction, it is almost impossible, sometimes totally impossible to change your direction on the block. Penalty yardage tonight. That is the first penalty against Louisville in this ball game. The quarterback for Louisville, freshman Chris Redmond, a red shirt from Mayo High School. Now he was a parade national player of the year two years ago. Was red shirted by Ron Cooper last season. And so with 8.44 to go, it is Chris Redmond that'll get his first shot and the team is back inside its own 10 yard line. Somebody jump. 
We mentioned it earlier when Kentucky made the quarterback change. The difference in cadence can cause problems and, in the first few and plays. And you can almost bet on it in a lot of ball games. The uh, players are so used to hearing one sound, one sound, one voice. It, it, it's so monotone. Right and all of a sudden you change it, then you begin to jump a little bit. Half the distance, this is going to move it inside the five yard line so you got another freshman quarterback in this ball game chris redmond 6'2, 208 pounds and his first assignment is try to move you out of your own five yard line backed up i mean redmond is a guy who came out of high school with all kinds of big numbers went to school in louisville at mail a lot of his teammates along playing with him i'm kind of curious to know as to why they would make uh, that kind of a change now it's an interesting situation with the team backed up like this. All right, they've got the uh, play clock starting now. That seemed to be the delay. Redmond on the handoff. And they pick up yardage out near the 10-yard line. Donnell Gordon, 22, the ball carrier. The former Kentucky Wildcat, so Louisville keeps the clock running. Hit there by Crow, 95. So far, Gordon has played an outstanding ball game, running the ball very effectively when he's had his opportunities, ran the ball uh, extremely hard. And this is the time, if, if Kentucky really wants to do something here, they've got him backed up, make him punt on second down, get him in third down and long, make him punt. Here's Chris Redmond. Fake. Now he's going to roll. Now he's going to throw. Pass is dropped. Big hit delivered. Incomplete pass. Gary Crowley, the tight end. Ball was there. And that's big time. If he makes the catch and makes the fumble here, get control and get the foot down, that changes the entire ball game. I mean, this ball game is by no means won by anyone right now. And uh, the last couple of years, very close ball games. Ball games going to the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter now. Louisville has the edge, but there is no way they can afford to let up. Third down coming up. Neither team has fared well on third down conversions. Balls at the Louisville nine yard line. Redmond up the middle on the handoff and nothing there. And so the Cardinals from their end zone now punting the ball as Borseth comes in let's go, Paul. Let's go, buddy. and Kentucky is looking at getting very good field position it again. is a great chance to get uh, pretty good uh, field position and you got to kick the ball off to a guy who's absolutely when he's had his chance to get the ha uh, hands on the football can make some things happen set up the first touchdown with a punt return that's Keo Sanford number six great shot the snap coming up. Critical situation. Borsuk is in the end zone. There's the snap. Punts off the side of his foot. Hits and bounces back. Kentucky's going to get this ball at about the 33-yard line of Louisville. That was the only bad punt tonight by Jeremy Borsuk, who is averaging 48 yards a punt. 6.58 to go. It's not over, folks. 31 to 14, Louisville on top. Charles Flay. Shaken, not stirred. Nothing's more intense than slamming a dude. Hi, I'm Fred Wishy. You know, I used to say that I don't do windows, but now Primax has changed all of that. Primax offers the unique super TDA insulated glass system to keep the cold and hot weather out. The vinyl clad aluminum frames will never rust or warp. You've got other things to do with your time, so call Primex and let a representative give you an estimate. Call Primex and get out of the house and do the things that you like to do. Yes! Loser! Loser! Don't mess with me! 
get the bag, the uncle, the mess, the mess. <laughs> How good is your health insurance? You need the alternative. Alternative health. How good is your health insurance? You need the alternative. Alternative health. Scoreboard, Louisville 31, Kentucky 14, 658 in the fourth quarter at Commonwealth Stadium. David Sullivan along with Lewis Breed. And it was just now a 24-yard punt by Jeremy Forsyth of Louisville. He had kicked two 52-yarders and a 50-yarder before this one went off the side of his foot, giving Kentucky good field position. Anthony White inside the Louisville 30. Not the time for a 24-yard punt. Punt. Prior to that, he had some boomers, 50 yards, and I think the other one was was 52 yards. Expecting pressure on the last change of possession on the punt, I think really distracted him, and he really shanked the ball to the right side of the football field. That was to correct the runner, Derek Logan, a freshman that just ran for Kentucky number 25. Now another freshman, Anthony White, is in the backfield. We have not seen Raven McLaurin in this fourth quarter. Couch drops back, looking for a receiver. Now he lets it go, and it's incomplete. And a flag goes down. Raymond Brain was on the coverage, number 57. Number 32, Anthony White. They were trying to get it to Anthony White, number 32. Couch had the ball there. And let's see what the call is going to be. Pass interference, defense, spot foul, automatic first down. So Kentucky still alive in this football game, trailing by 17 points. Six minutes and 14 seconds to go. And there was no question about the interference on that play. The quarterback couch pumped the ball several times, several times on this one. A record crowd here tonight at Commonwealth Stadium, 59,384. They've seen quite a football game. The unveiling of Tim Couch, the much heralded freshman quarterback. Completes the pass out here in the right flat. Ball goes to Chad Spencer, a high school freshman out of Franklin, Kentucky. And Spencer makes the grab. Watch it here again. Just the out play. Watch this. Watch him slip. That is the kind of play on the out play. The thing that's so difficult about the out, you have to be perfect and you have to have great timing. This is the kind of ball that can almost be picked off or picked off if you're late or if you throw it behind you. Five minutes and 37 seconds to go. Couch on the handoff. That is Anthony White, 32. He's inside the Louisville 20-yard line. Wildcat fans, a little chorus of boos because they're running the football with 5.19 to go, trailing by 17. Well, you still want to mix the football up. There's still plenty of time on the clock, and we've seen what Couch can do. All of a sudden, this offensive line, they don't even look nearly as bad as the offensive line we saw in the first half of the ball game. Think the quarterback makes him look better? Yeah, he, he's given him some confidence. He has really built up the confidence. It's very obvious in the football team. Here's Couch, goes for the end zone. Broken up. Great defensive play. He went against the best, Sam Madison. And that's a great play in the corner. And that's going to, the ball is up in the air quickly. The ball is in the air before he can have a chance to turn around and see it. What he has to do, get your head around very quickly, pick it up, couch here with the throw, watch it. Perfectly. Watch him ward off the defender. Great position, his body between himself and the football. He well, also knocked down a bird back there, too. Pretty good <laughs> shot on both the courts. Well, you got to give Couch credit for courage. He went after uh, Madison, the All-American corner, and he didn't get the throw completed. Now it's fourth down. Two to go. And Couch will get the first down inside the 15-yard line. Uses his 6-5 frame. And now... Flag on the a flag has been dropped. And we'll see what the penalty is. I don't know if I've seen a ball game like this, Dave, where I've seen the quarterbacks with their shoulder pads hanging out, hanging out so off. I mean, defensive linemen, linebackers, defensive backs, they've been grabbing at these white uh, quarterbacks all evening. Dead ball, personal foul. 
defense. Half the distance to the goal line, automatic first down. Well, it appears possibly Leland Taylor was uh, guilty of this, number 56. We'll, well see. We, we can see the guys on the inside. Couch, prolific passer in high school, learning to run the option here in Kentucky. Don't know who the penalty was on, but it moves the ball now to the Louisville 7. 4.36 and the clock is running. Kentucky trails 31 to 14. First down and goal. Ball is blocked, knocked up in the air, incomplete pass. Rondell Marsh, number 95, was in on the rush. 6'4", 285-pounder, a junior out of Detroit. And that's a good job by Marsh. What coaches would teach you in this kind of a situation, especially when you are backed up, they're not going to have a time to run anything deep. You don't have anywhere to go. When you can feel the pressure, feel the quarterback getting ready to throw the football, get your hands up. Extend. Make yourself taller. And now, second and goal from the Louisville 7. Anthony White to the five. Anthony White, the red shirt freshman running back from Twinsburg, Ohio, gets it into the five yard line. Pickup of maybe two. Clock is running under four minutes. Try and get in the head of the offensive coordinator, Brett Ingles. You know he's thinking as to when Louisville gets the ball back. If they score a touchdown, exactly what kind of things they're going to try and do offensively. Because if they score here, if they score quickly enough, there's still time to get the ball back and try and score a touchdown. What do I do offensively to move the football? Third down, goal from the five. 3.35 as the clock is running. Couch runs the option, pitches to White, to the four, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth down and goal. Rico Clark and Tony Bethel hit Anthony White. Fourth down and goal. You talk about decision time, play calling time. I'm telling you, Rico Clark, 5'11", 180 pounds, will hit you. Fourth down, uh, we've seen a lot of fourth down decisions. We haven't seen, I don't think there's anyone picked it up, either Louisville or Kentucky. They've both been stopped on fourth down. This is a big down. This could be the ball game if they can't pick it up here. Ball is on the two. Counts. Throws incomplete. Tried to get it to Norman Mason, number 84. Sam Madison, again, the man on coverage. You know, Couch keeps going after the top defensive back back there. I am shocked. I am surprised at the call, especially throwing to the wide side of the football field. This is not an easy completion. It is certainly not an easy completion when you're going against number 13. Watch Couch here, number two, totally disappointed with himself on that play. This kid, young kid, fresh out of high school, he's played an outstanding ball game. Yes, he certainly has. He's been put into the game with Kentucky trailing, a desperate need of getting an offense going, and he's been able to give him a spark. Now Louisville will have it on the three-yard line with 2.41 to go, and the Cardinals commanding the lead of 31-14. to And Jason Payne is back at quarterback. Handoff. And now you know the word from the bench, don't let go of that football. Don't let it go, and I guarantee you that Ingles has changed his offensive strategy. They didn't score. They didn't have to receive a kickoff. Now all of a sudden there's two, just over two minutes to go in the ball game, but you're still backed up. You have to move the football. You get a first down because if you don't get a first down, you're still going to have to punt, give them another opportunity at it. Now Kentucky would like to get it back. Timeout on the field. Stopping the clock at 2.32. 31 to 14, Louisville over Kentucky. We'll be back to Commonwealth Stadium as the seconds wind down. For centuries, 
the spirit of exploration has led to the discovery of new worlds and beyond. That same spirit has led the experts of the Kenton D. Leatherman Spine Center to pioneer the treatment of spinal injury and disease. But with all that we've accomplished, we're working toward more advancements in spinal treatment for the future. And with a spirit of exploration like that, virtually anything's possible. We're part of the Norton Hospital Spine and Neuroscience Center. Why, well, I love these. These sandwiches are just terrific. They're low fat. They're smooth. And would you like one? Oh. Here we are. Here we are, John. When you can get them anywhere. The only trouble is they have the funny name, you know. They're called guilt-free. But on the other hand, they're easy to remember. You go to a store and say, I want some guilt-free non-fat fudge bars or five flavors of ice cream or low-fat ice cream sandwiches. It's terrific. Dean's guilt-free ice cream. The only thing you'll have to feel guilty about is not wanting to share any. Hamilton Printing is quality. Hamilton Printing is state-of-the-art. Hamilton Printing is service. Hamilton Printing is excellence. Quality, state-of-the-art, service, excellence. Louisville's award-winning Hamilton Printing. Here's a special announcement. The event, Absolute Public Reduction Sale. The location, Star Ford at Oxmoor, between the hours of 10 a.m. Thursday and 6 p.m. Monday. 650 new and used vehicles are being sacrificed for immediate dispersal. All vehicles clearly marked with special reduction prices. Some below factory invoice. All bids considered. Buy or lease any new or used vehicle with nothing down. Trade-ins welcome. Special finance rates. This is part of Ford's nationwide year-end clearance. Don't miss your opportunity to save thousands on a new or used car, truck, or van. Any vehicle not sold will be offered to wholesalers. Hurry to Star Ford at Oxmoor now. Jason Payne, number four, the senior back and quarterback, and he's going to throw, goes long, Ivan Green, does he have it, gets a completed pass, and that was a big time throw by Jason Payne, and a big time catch by Bates. Bates a guy with the speed at the receiver core, watch Bates get downfield in the end zone, a little surprising call on that play, he is basically just, just wide open, ball a little bit underthrown, makes the catch, that is a big pickup, here it is from the end zone, watch him step up, step up into the pocket, oh boy, I tell you what, when you're that wide open, you can afford to underthrow a guy a little bit, on those situations, this kind of pressure, guy is wide open as the quarterback, make sure you get him the football, don't lead him too much. This is an interesting situation unfolding now in that Redmond has come back into the game and Jason Payne has gone out. Here's a look at his day statistically. 14 out of 22 for 104 yards, one interception. Pretty good numbers for, for a quarterback who's been waiting and waiting and waiting forever to get a chance and an opportunity to play. And He's done very well, very well with this football game, and I'm pretty sure with Redmond in the ball game, it's the kind of a situation where he's had to deal with coming into the ball game, some spot situations where allowing him to get the field of the football game, anything can happen during the course of the of, of the season. If you don't have a chance to play, it's very difficult to play in a, in a tight game situation. Well, Redmond had no field position the first time, and now he's got the offense out with breathing room. And we notice that uh, Sam Madison is on the field as a wide receiver. Number 13. And here's Redmond. Goes for Floyd. Incomplete and down to Bates at the 30. So Louisville with 2.20 to go is throwing the ball. You know, with uh, Madison at wide receiver, I did a coach's show with Ron Cooper last week. He said, Sam Madison has been bugging me and bugging me for weeks to let him be a wide receiver. And it's not going to happen. Been watching Just too much. Been, watch, been watching too much of the Dallas Cowboys. That's maybe. right. Dion, Dion and Neon <laughs> Sanders. Maybe we have to come up with a nickname and somewhat close to that. A very good athlete. Back to action. 2:20 to go. Second down and ten for Redmond. Now it's back on the ground to Otis Floyd. Tripped up. Over the Kentucky 45 to the 44 by Lehman Boy. And Boyd makes a good play. If he doesn't make this play, Boyd's gone. Shoe screen tackle. The Floyd is gone, and he's still running down the sideline. They have 
they have played an outstanding football game. You haven't given them credit for that. Both teams defensively, they haven't quit. They've made some plays. Offenses, they've struggled. Early in the season, you see 31 yards tonight on 12 carries by Otis Floyd. A minute 50 to go. Redmond pumps and throws, and a flag goes down. Montana went down. He and Van Hiles collided, and uh, very likely it's going to be on Van Hiles. Hiles, number 17, made the interception earlier. This is a simple out and up move. He just stopped, turned back up. It happens to a lot of cornerbacks, and you can see him there. He's holding his hands up. He can't figure out what happened. Did you ever do that? Just put your hands up, say hi. Huh? <laughs> no, what I would do, I didn't want, I didn't want anyone to know it was me. So basically, what I tried to do was make sure I was next to some defensive linemen. They're pretty big, and you can hide sometimes. Van Hiles was just out there all by himself. He couldn't hide from that one. 31-14, your score, Louisville. 1.46 to go. Kentucky has 10 penalties. Little just four, and that will make Ron Cooper very, very pleased. Redmond going to go back to the air to Montano at the Kentucky 20. Louisville is not letting up. They are going back to the air. It looks like they would like to score another touchdown. Yeah, and you, uh, this is a different strategy. I, I mean, they put Redmond in the ball game. Obviously, want to get him some playing time. But the thing is, though, every time you uh, you get a first down, the clock does stop. So now the clock is stopped. More, more time to run off of the clock. Uh, but uh, Ron, I mean, Cooper wants to get his quarterbacks play. He did that last year. Uh, he wants to make sure that. Game ready. Have your face on. I'm going to give you some chances to play. And at 15 to go now. Redmond under siege. Throws it under pressure. Complete. Oh, what a play by Redmond. And that's complete to Ivan Green inside the Kentucky 10-yard line. They were high school teammates, Redmond and Ivan Green. 6-3-208 showing some strength. I mean, he was uh, he was tackled. Watch the strength by the quarterback on this play. Watch him turn around here. Watch. Watch. By the leg. See, your quarterback, the defensive lineman is saying, look, you're supposed to go down on that play. Don't just stand up and make me look bad. You know, between Redmond and Couch, you've got two of the top high school quarterbacks in the nation in the last two years playing here in their college debuts tonight. Both of them have done well. Bennett four to go. This time the handoff, Donnell Gort, and he's knocked down inside Kentucky's 10. The clock running inside a minute to go. Van Hiles on the stop. Well, the fans are starting to clear out. Uh, all the banners are beginning to come down a little bit now, but uh, this rivalry, the intensity and the anticipation of the players and all the talk, uh, this can't but help both institutions and the players recruiting uh, and everything else. It's good for football in the state of Kentucky. Here is Redmond to the end zone. A little bit high. 23 seconds to go. Am I the only one who's surprised you're still, still throwing the football or what? I'm wondering, you know, that it's not an attempt to run out the clock and let it go. They're still throwing for the end zone. Up 31 to 14. Well, this is a great start for, for Louisville. This is exactly what they want to go on the road, win the first ball game. Not so for Kentucky. No offense. Here's Chris Redmond now from the 10. Throws. Dive and green. A flag is down. It was complete, but we'll wait and see here on the flag. 16 seconds, clock stopped. Cooper says, hey, that's a touchdown. <laughs> well, I, I'm still surprised that they'll still uh, throw in the football, and I'm sure Curry on the sideline here is scratching his head. Touchdown is good. Penalty is required. It is a touchdown. Penalty was on Kentucky, so Redmond gets Bates. 
And Chris Redmond has his first collegiate touchdown with 16 seconds to go. So Louisville now kicking for its 38th point of the night. Up, and it is good. Louisville 38 and Kentucky 14. Ron Cooper watching his team annihilate Kentucky here in this football game, 38 to 14. Let's look again at the touchdown on this National City going the distance replay. Well, you, you see Bates here throwing the football. Watch the pattern to the inside. Gets, watch the catch. Great concentration, fumble. Passing the football, Louisville with less than 20 seconds left to go. So I'm pretty sure some people will be asking some questions of Cooper about that one. Well, we may have a chance to ask him before this game is over. Down on the sideline, 16 seconds to go. The Louisville sideline, uh, a happy sideline. They have not broken into a full-blown uh, celebration. Chris Redman, uh, first touchdown as a college football player. You know, he's feeling very good right now. You think he was talking to Cooper a little bit on the sideline? Hey, this kid, Cal, don't let him out do me. Let me in the ball game. Let me score a touchdown. That could be. Well, this has been a tough night for the Kentucky Wildcats. It's Handing them a very lopsided defeat, 38 to 14. This will be the most lopsided it's been, the highest scoring game it's been in this series. Well, they came here last year and they won a ball game on the road again. The way the schedule is set, I guess they're going to be here several, several more times too. You got to think, uh, or start to think, Penn State. This next week at Penn State. Again, we saw Penn State. I happened to see them a couple of weeks ago. Very good. Uh, to get the running back's name for uh, ran for over over 200 yards. Penn State always tough. Couch completes his pass. Eight seconds to go. Knocked out of bounds. Stops it at seven seconds to go. Kevin Coleman, the receiver. Seven seconds to go. You know, the Governor's Cup goes to the winner of this game. Bill Curry won it the first year when the Wildcats won 13 to 10, or rather 20 to 14. Last year, Louisville won 13 to 10. And the Governor's Cup, as you take a look at it, 23 karat gold plated solid brass. Stands over 33 inches tall. Couch. Incomplete. Three seconds left. Doesn't really matter to these players what that cup looked like. It's just the knowing that that uh, we won. We won, and they can go home and brag about it a little bit. Everyone all over the all over the state with all the anticipation of everything. First ball games are always big. Always big, but when you can play across town in state rivalry and you've just got that rivalry going again, it means it, it means even more. Kentucky now possibly very certainly the last play of the game. Tim Couch. He's gonna throw another one. The horn sounds, the ball game is over. And Louisville keeps the Governor's Cup. A disappointing start for Bill Curry, a joyous beginning for the Louisville Cardinals. And the few Cardinal faithful who are here tonight at Commonwealth Stadium. See the Louisville Cardinals beat the Wildcats in Kentucky, 38 to 14. Ron Cooper now with an 8-4 record at the University of Louisville. He was 8-7-4 and four in his inaugural season last year. Closing out with four straight wins. The team averaging over 40 points a game in those wins. And they put 38 points on the board tonight. Of course, that is somewhat deceiving because the offense really didn't do all that. The defense is what put the majority of the points on the board. This was a game that belonged to the defense. Powell, Conway, Taylor, Golston, the linebackers, particularly McLeod, uh, uh, Lockett played a great game. The cornerbacks, we knew they would play well. They really dominated the ball game uh, from the beginning. 
some some little scary moments, and I'm pretty sure Cooper somewhat uh, uh, concerned in the beginning of the ball game, especially with the special teams. But they've got things settled down. It took them a while. Offensively, it may take them a while to to, uh, to get going. Uh, but they better find a way to get going in practice next week because they've got to go to Penn State. And I know Penn State can move the football. This defense is good. They'll do their job, but the offense has to do theirs. And they have to do it first quarter in the ball game. And you may expect that that was in the mind of Ron Cooper to give Chris Redman that playing time at the end, thinking he may need a throwing quarterback at Penn State. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure maybe he was thinking we may get all kinds of pressure in our quarterback uh, may get beat up as much as Haskins got beat up tonight. We may have to bring someone else in. But I know what he's thinking. We have two very good quarterbacks. You've got two good quarterbacks. You have to give them some spot situations where they can come in play on game situations. You can't just shell a guy, keep him on the bench, on the sideline, and only let him play in practice uh, with the second team. He has to get some game experience. Well, we wait for the presentation of the Governor's Cup. Of course, that means Louisville will be retaining that cup, which they won last year with their victory over the University of Kentucky. 38 to 14, the final score. Uh, players are shaking hands right now with the Louisville fans on the far side of the field. Coach Ron Cooper is down on the field. Coach, congratulations. A very impressive game and win for your football team. Thank you. I tell you what, the players played well. I'm definitely pleased with everything they did. Their attitude's been great. You know, we've this is the third year in a row we've come here, and uh, I think we've got a pretty good team. we just got to keep getting better. Made some mistakes. I want to take my hat off to Kentucky. They kept fighting and didn't give up. Coach Lewis Breeden, i got a question for you. Congratulations once again on the victory tonight. Change of quarterback. You let Redmond play. Can you give us some kind of an idea why you made that decision? Well, I just decided that Chris was going in the game. You know, the first series, I didn't like it. We were backed up. We had a penalty. We had to put him in on the 15. I didn't want him to go back again on the 7. That's why we threw the ball to get it out the end zone. And then once we threw the ball, I said, hey, let's put our freshmen in. We had our young kids in. So we kept playing the game. Chris Redman has to get ready to play if something happens in the following weeks. Okay. Co Coach, of course, you're savoring this win and a big one coming up on the road at Penn State a week from tonight. We'll enjoy th this one tonight. And then tomorrow what we'll do is we'll have to put this thing behind us move on to Penn State next week. they got a great football team, but uh, we got a lot of things to get corrected before we get in that game. Enjoy your celebration. Congratulations, Ron. Thank you. And the celebration continues for the Louisville players here at Commonwealth Stadium. We'll be back to wrap things up in a minute. What makes you comfortable? Is it as simple as the twist of a thermostat? Or is it the peace of mind that comes with getting your money's worth? At LG&E, we know that it's both. And that's why you feel the benefits of one of the lowest energy costs in the country. A fact that brings more than a little comfort to a whole lot of people. LG&E, our energies go to serving you. We at Fox agreed never to do a game show unless it was a big deal. Introducing Big Deal, coming Sunday, September 1st to Fox. To the victors, the Governor's Cup. The Louisville Cardinals 38, the Kentucky Wildcats 14 tonight at Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington. Let's take a look at the Alliant Health System play of the game. Hard to pick a play of the game, uh, Lewis Breeden. There were so many big plays. Jason Payne, the senior quarterback for Louisville, this was a big play. And you're right. There are a lot of them, mostly on defense. Offensively, look at this one. Couldn't find a receiver, but he does uh, what he can do. He uses legs. Make a first down, make a play, setting up a touchdown. Big play in the ball game, a momentum change. That was in the fourth quarter after 10 Tim Couch had thrown a touchdown pass for Kentucky to close it to 10. That set up the touchdown that let Louisville go up 31 to 14. Redmond throws a touchdown pass in the final seconds, and Louisville knocks it down 38 to 14. Final comments from you, Lewis, on tonight's game. A great win. The first win is always the difficult one when you're playing an opponent. Uh, you, you don't know what they're going to do. All the uh, uh, in ex uh, the expectations. You have to win.
win them one at a time, win the first one, worry about everything else later. The momentum is in Louisville's favor after game number one. They celebrate tonight in Lexington, 38 to 14. David Sullivan saying so long from Commonwealth Stadium. makes you comfortable? Is it as simple as the twist of a thermostat? Or is it the peace of mind that comes with getting your money's worth? At LG&E, we know that it's both. And that's why you feel the benefits of one of the lowest energy costs in the country. A fact that brings more than a little comfort to a whole lot of people. LG&E, our energies go to serving you. Every weeknight, right here on Fox 41.